Hi guys, today I want to show you some simple solo training ideas with the Tomahawk or the X. Um, so you can train on your own and, and make your technique better and train some things you have to take care of when you work with the X. So the main focus would be in this exercise is the loading position for the X. And our preferred loading position is when I have my checking hand in front, I have my X here on the hip with the blade pointing to the outside. Why I cannot do a normal stick loading position like this? Because when I work here, I will accidentally hurt myself and we don't want it. Also, it's not so good to work here with the blade from here. So I want the blade away from me. The other thing is, if I have the position here, it's even worse. Because somebody just has to push the X into you and you have a big problem. So here, I have a good loading position. I can work from my hip, I can use my whole body, but from, at the same time I protect myself from my own weapon and I have good control state here. And it's a good loading position to work from here. The other thing is when we work with different weapons in, in, in semi-combat systems, and for example if you work with a pistol, you have the same hip loading position, because when the slide is working during shooting, and you hold the pistol wrong, sometimes the fabric of your shirt gets worked in. So normally when you have the pistol, you hold it also here, the same work version, like the hop. And we like to train the same loading position in different styles, so that you get used to the same pattern, and not have to train everything different in every, every system. So what we will do now, is we take our combat stance, left, uh, left foot forward in this case, and I have my loading position here with the X, and the other hand is up here. What I will start first is I do a chop, a hack movement, and I use my left hand to bring the X again back. So I work like this. What I train here is always go back to the right loading position, use my left hand as well, and I work the right hip motion. So when I hack, I use my whole body to generate force here, and the left hand also takes care of that I move the hip back again for the next hit. So I don't work with an X like this. I don't want to see anything like this. We want to be here, good loading position, a hack, and then come with the left hand. Why? Also, why, why I train the left hand? Because when I hit with the weapon and I want to reload for the next hit, I want to give some input and maybe some distance for the next hit. Still have some control on the person, I have my hand in between. Also it's like a bit of a guiding range for my next attack. And the other thing when you work with an axe is that you always have to imagine that if I hack into something, this gets stuck and you need to get it out. So I need to use my hip and the other hand to push the weapon out again. So I hack and push it out again. So I can reuse it, that's one thing. And if we go a bit further from here, we can also do this as a slashing exercise, so that I don't pull here back, but I follow through with a strike. When you imagine that a bigger distance maybe, and you graze the person, it's more like a slashing movement. So it's not that the full blade will get stuck, but you can slash through, so I slash, then since I'm loaded up here again, I do a backhand strike and the left hand and come again to this loading position. So I have a one, a two, and a three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So either or, you can train first, hack, come back, always check the good position here, and then you have the one, two, three where you pull through and work from here. I'll show you from the other side. So I'm here, I come with the hack, work like this, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you can also do this uh, with, with footwork. So you can also do, do it stepping, so you can do with a full step, you can work with, with footwork, or you can do it here, I can step forward, hack, step backward, push the left hand, so you can vary it with different footwork and make it even more interesting.
So this is just a basic idea how you can start, um, use the loading position and different variations to strike and train on your own with the axe and get a better feeling for the, for the weapon. Okay, so I hope I gave you a little idea how to work uh, basic single training with the axe. Um, we designed the X system for us because we like to work with this weapon and we have a lot of fun with this weapon and we didn't find much um, other styles that do that and so we wanted to, to incorporate it and, and made our own. So we work with different axes, with small ones, big ones. The important thing is also when you have a training X that you use something that has a realistic weight. So if it's just plastic sometimes you, you get the wrong feeling for the weapon because a, a real X has a lot of weight to it. And also when you work with it, you have to realize that you have to use much more your body and your hip to get the right cutting, cutting motion. If you work too small, you would accidentally hit yourself sometimes because the weight of the weapon carries through. If I do this wrong, I will accidentally hit myself, load wrong, something like that. So you need realistic training weapons, sometimes also train with real Xs, heavy ones, where you get a real feeling how to work it. There's a lot of stuff that if you have a real X doesn't work because I cannot do stuff like this because the weapon is too heavy, it doesn't work. And it's also not, not designed for this. If you have an X and you want to use it, you will need to generate power. So I tell also everyone, get, get a piece of wood and get a feeling of hacking into it and you will realize that it gets stuck, that you have to rip it out, that you have to generate more force use your hips, use your whole body, and it's, it's a real physical art. So you should also train it like that. So I hope you have fun with this, have some fun with the X, and we will give you some more solo training in the future so that you can work on that.